are you doing? How are you doing? Good evening, mom says, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. How do I know it's good evening? Because it's dark outside. It is here anyway. Um, in uh, glorious, glorious, sunny above the clouds, Wales. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, glad you've made it this far. Although we've only just started, right? Trying to keep these really, really short, brief. Uh, because they are just really just a uh, little nugget maybe um, to give you an idea about some uh, Christmas presents. Uh, all the things that we've mentioned so far, all the other videos, uh, we've got the stuff sat on the shelf. Um, although stock is de deplenishing, so be quick. Uh, but we do have more stock coming in. Um, so today's nugget, pri uh, nugget uh, idea present is the Denali Sound Bomb Split. If I can just quickly do that. Which you haven't seen. Um, Denali sound bomb split. So what does the split mean? So if you haven't heard of a Denali sound bomb, uh, let's just get rid of those. Um, it's essentially uh, it's a bigger horn that can go on your bike um, or other motor vehicle, um, and it produces uh, 120 decibels. 120 decibels. Um, standard. Uh, OEM manufactured horns are around about 70 to 100 decibels um, and obviously over time not uh, very quickly over time um, they deplenish that sound um, other manufacturers tend to go around about 110 decibels uh, but and you find that the, the extra free with the sound bomb mini um, and also the which is a plug and play thing uh, very small probably the size of this actually um, yeah, it's 113 decibels uh, for about 28 quid or something like that. Or you can go up to the Sound Bomb Split or to the Sound Bomb Compact, uh, which is, is essentially kind of, uh, I think it's like that, if I remember correctly. It's a bit like that anyway, but a little bit more compacter. Um, why we mention this? So not all bikes can actually fit the bigger version because it is, as I mentioned, it is kind of like a big clumpier size. Um, and it, that's actually in another video. Um, I don't know why I've got, not got it with me. Anyway, waffling on, um, as you do. Uh, so the sound bomb split can stick in two parts of the bike. So this is the compressor. This is where you feed the power to. Um, you do get a relay. You will need obviously power running to this um, straight from the battery or from, if you've got a, a, an easy can, um, a power distributor kind of like bank, um, you can run power to this and then set the ampage up correctly. Um, as I mentioned, this is the compressor bit and then you can then actually stick this at the front of the bike, uh, nice and compact, um, zip tie it or even tie it somewhere uh, to the forks underneath. Um, generally face down so the sound doesn't get in, uh, the water don't go up and get in. Um, unlike that, that's not really a good way to fit it, potentially that way, or that way, as long as it's that slant. But anyway, going into technicalities, uh, really, really good bit of kit and it's certainly a must, must, must have, uh, certainly from a Rogers book kind of thing. Uh, if you're gonna do anything to your bike, it is certainly upgrade your horn. Um, and get a sound bomb, get a Denali sound bomb. A must, must, must from me. Um, yeah, if you do have one of these, I mentioned it before, get a wiring harness as well. Um, and we do bundles on that. All the information is available on the website. Um, free delivery over 50 pounds as well, I think. And you, as it's Christmas, we'll give you something free attached in that as well. Uh, it could be like a neck tube or a, or a hat maybe. If you like the hats, what do you think of the hats anyway? Um, that's it for me. Um, hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't, if, or even if you have, write some comments below, thumbs up um, or thumbs down. Just, just let me know. Um, have a good Christmas, have a merry one. If you're working, thank you very much. Uh, merry Christmas, thank you.